Okay, so we've got our Spring Boot app and we've got a variable HW message defined in the production application properties file. That message is being passed to the controller and when we visit mshw.com, we're getting that message back. But what if we wanted to define this variable differently in different Kubernetes deployments? We can also use a config map to inject configuration parameters into our application. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. So there's two ways we can do this. The first way we can define a config map and we can reference them as environment variables in our deployment. So I'm going to take a config map. Uh, it looks like this. So we have the API version and the kind config map. Uh, we'll just call it MSHW config. Uh, it's in the namespace. We're putting everything in MSHW namespace. And here we have the HW message. We're going to override it and say hello world from config map. Now that config map just contains that value HW message, but in the deployment, we need to include it as an environment variable. So here we're saying the environment variable in this deployment for HW message comes from the config map mshw config so that's the config map name there and the key hw message which is the key there so if we now deploy this it's very simple um, kubectl apply f we've created our config map and we've configured our deployment now if we go to mshw.com, we're getting hello world from config map. So I've overridden the value in the application properties file and now we're using the HW message from the config map. The other way we can do it is we can create a config map which defines the application properties in a file and we can mount it as a volume in the deployment. So to do that, we can change the data here to look like this. So we're defining a file application properties, hello world from config map volume. And then in the deployment, we're mounting a volume called config volume. And that is coming from the config map MSHW config, which corresponds with the config map name there. And then in the volume mounts, we're mounting this volume as config volume in the deployment. And we're giving it a mount path, uh, which is going to represent um, the file that we're specifying here. So now if I apply that, okay, I had some indentation problems there in YAML. So it uh, just goes to show how important it is to get the indentation right in YAML. Uh, but there I've got it applied and we have the deployment configured. Now if I go back to my browser, uh, if I reload, we now have hello world from config map volume. So we're getting the value there. Now another thing we can do, if I do, I'm using Cubans, so I'm in the default namespace, so I do Cubans MSHW namespace. And then I can do kubectl get pod. And I can do the command kubectl exec interactive terminal. Take the pod name. And do bash to get a bash terminal inside the pod. So now I'm inside of my pod. I can see we have a config directory. Here we defined it the mount path config application properties. So if I cd into config application properties, we have a file application properties. And if I cat that, we have the hello world from config map. So we can see the file inside the pod. So that's how to override your configuration properties with a config map. You can imagine you could have different deployments with different config maps. So you could customize the deployment based on which config map you're giving it and you could deploy different pods 
with different application properties in that way. Config maps are only designed to be used for non-sensitive data. So in the next video, we'll be looking at secrets, which are very similar, but they're encrypted so they can hold things like passwords. So that's Kubernetes config maps. Thanks for watching.